In this lecture, I will solve one problem based on clampers and I will try to cover everything we have studied till now in clampers. Let's read the problem. For the network in figure, this is the network given in the figure, calculate 5 tau. Tau is the time constant and it is equal to RC. So we have to calculate 5 tau in the A part. In the B part, we need to compare 5 tau to the half the period of the applied signal. So the first thing that we have to do in the B part is to calculate T. T is the time period of the waveform. Once we have T, we need to calculate T by 2 and after this we will compare T by 2 with 5 tau. In C part, we need to sketch the output voltage VO. So let's start with the A part. I will calculate 5 tau. First I will calculate tau. Tau is equal to RC. R is equal to 56 kilo ohms. R is equal to 56 kilo ohms. So I can write it as 56 multiplied by 10 raised to power 3 ohms multiplied by C. C is 0 0.1 microfarad. 0 0.1 microfarad. Once you solve this, you will have the value of tau equal to 5.6 milliseconds. Now I will calculate 5 tau. 5 tau is equal to 5 multiplied by 5.6 milliseconds and it is equal to 28 milliseconds. So this is the answer of the A part. Now we will compare 5 tau with T by 2. So let's move to the B part of the problem. Time period T is equal to 1 by frequency. This is something we already know. The unit is seconds and uh, frequency is equal to 1 kilohertz. It is already given in the problem. So 1 divided by 1 multiplied by 10 raised to power 3 and the unit is seconds. I can also write it as 1 multiplied by 10 raised to power minus 3 seconds or time period is simply equal to 1 milliseconds. Now we can calculate T by 2 the half time period T by 2 is equal to 1 milliseconds divided by 2 so it is equal to 0 0.5 milliseconds and if you compare 5 tau with T by 2 you will find 5 tau is greater than T by 2 5 tau is greater than T by 2 because 5 tau is equal to 28 milliseconds and T by 2 is equal to 0 0.5 milliseconds but we have to compare them and I will try to find out how many times 5 tau is greater than T by 2. So 5 tau by T by 2 is equal to 28 milliseconds divided by 0 0.5 or I can write it as 56 divided by 1. So 5 tau is 56 times T by 2. 5 tau is 56 times T by 2. This is how you have to compare 5 tau and T by 2 and this is the general assumption in case of clampers. I have already explained this thing that why we keep the discharging time very high. Now we will move to the C part of the problem in which we need to sketch the output voltage VO. In this circuit you can see we have 2 volt as the additional DC supply. So this is biased clamper circuit and we will obtain the output voltage VO for the first half cycle from 0 to T by 2 the input voltage VI is equal to 10 volts from 0 to T by 2 the input voltage VI is equal to 10 volts which is positive so plus minus is the polarity current will flow in clockwise direction the direction of arrow in the diode symbol is same as the direction of current so diode is forward biased and you can notice the diode is silicon diode. This information is given in the problem. So we have to consider, we have to consider the constant voltage drop model. And in case of constant voltage drop model, the diode is replaced by the barrier potential like this. The diode is replaced by the barrier potential when it is forward biased. 0 0.7 volt is the barrier potential for silicon diode. And we can calculate the output voltage VO by using the Kirchhoff's voltage law. Let's do it quickly. 
minus 0 0.7 volts plus 2 volts plus VO equal to 0. You will have this equation when you apply Kirchhoff's voltage law and move in anti-clockwise direction. When you solve this, the output voltage VO is simply equal to minus 1.3 volts. So this is the value of output voltage in the first half cycle. Now I am interested in calculation of voltage across the capacitor. Let's say it is VC. This plate is connected to the positive terminal, so it will have positive charge on it. This plate is connected to the negative terminal, so it will have negative charge on it. And uh, you may also see one thing, this 2 volt of DC supply is forward biasing the diode, forward biasing the diode and the input voltage VI in the first half cycle is also forward biasing the diode. So the diode is forward biased because both the sources are forward biasing it in the first half cycle. Now I will calculate VC, the voltage across the capacitor. I will use Kirchhoff's voltage law and we will move in direction of the current plus VI plus VI minus VC minus VC minus 0 0.7 volts minus 0 0.7 volts plus 2 volts plus 2 volts equal to 0. So VC is equal to VI minus 0 0.7 volts plus 2 volts. VI is equal to 10 volts. So we have 10 volts minus 0 0.7 volts plus 2 volts. When you solve this you will have 11.3 volts as the value of voltage across the capacitor. This is all you need to do in the first half cycle. Now I will analyze this circuit in the next half cycle that is T by 2 to T. Let's find out what is the value of output voltage for the next half cycle from T by 2 to T. You can see input voltage VI is negative. The input voltage VI is equal to minus 10 volts so polarity will change. This terminal is now negative. This terminal is now positive. Direction of current is now anti-clockwise and the diode, the diode is reverse biased because VI is now reverse biasing the diode. 2 volt DC supply is forward biasing the diode but VI is greater than 2 volts. So diode will be reverse biased and it will remain open circuited. I will calculate VO by using the Kirchhoff's voltage law. I will move in the direction of current. Let's see what we have. Plus of VI, plus of VI, plus of VO, plus of VO, plus of, plus of VC equal to 0. So the output voltage VO is equal to minus VI, minus VC, minus VI is equal to minus 10 volts and VC is equal to 11.3 volts. So we have minus 11.3 volts. So output voltage is equal to minus 21.3 volts. This is what we have in the second half cycle. Now we have values of output voltage in the first half cycle and in the second half cycle. We can easily plot it because we have to sketch the output voltage in the C part of the problem. For the first half cycle from 0 to T by 2, output voltage is equal to minus 1.3. Let's say this voltage here is minus 1.3 volts. So we have minus 1.3 as the value of output voltage throughout this half cycle. Then output voltage is equal to minus 21.3 volts. Let's say this voltage here is minus 21.3 volts. So the output voltage is equal to minus 21.3 volts throughout the second half cycle. Then again it is equal to minus 1.3 volts. So this green waveform is the output waveform and this is the answer of the C part. I hope this numerical problem is clear to you how to calculate tau, the time constant, calculation of 5 tau and comparison of 5 tau with half time period. I will end this lecture here. See you in the next one.